Hello Internet, Jake here at Langmer Systems, and today we've got a quick update video to show you guys what we've been working on. Now if you're asking yourself, eh, what's this handsome hunk of metal on my screen right now? This, dear viewer, is a little punch press. We decided to make a steel project here, and the pun a punch press is kind of a perfect thing to make out of steel. Uh, basically it's four plates, um, we got two base plates, and an insert plate, and a stamping plate. And what this does is it's its own different kind of manufacturing is the stamp's going to come down and on some thin piece of material, whether that be brass or anything that's soft, it's going to punch out whatever shape we want. And these inserts are made to be taken in and out so that way we can change shapes or we can do maintenance on them, clean them up, sharpen them, do whatever we need to, so that way we can make a good stamp every time. Now we decided to make this project a little different from our coffee coaster that we made earlier. That was project was more just kind of for show, kind of for fun, so aluminum is a great material for that. But with this stamping press that we need to be more accurate. So what we decided to do is make it out of steel, because steel is going to hold up a lot more to these types of pressures. And we're going to have pins that come down and align all of this assembly. And so these need to be a press fit and they need to stay, and so, you know, steel's a lot better for that than it is aluminum. So just a quick rundown of the design. We're going to kind of streamline this video that comes out here soon. So we're going to kind of move on a little bit from the design side of things and really jump into the cam and the cut. So a quick rundown. Basically what I've done is I've designed these holes at the top to be a press fit. That means they're actually slightly smaller, something like half a thou smaller than the guide pins that are going in there, so that way we have to press them in with a hydraulic press. And that's going to make things really accurate and really stable. And they're going to line up with these slightly oversized holes here to line up our entire assembly very accurately. And we're going to need that because threaded holes are good for lining up, but they not as accurate as what we need them to be. So all of the fasteners you see on here are just holding things in place. They're not always locating everything perfectly. That's what the pins are for. And so what this assembly is going to do is it's going to come down, um, the guide pins will go into the holes, line everything up, and then by that time this will start pressing on the material, punch it through, and then these springs are going to push it back up. And eventually they'll hit. So these four screws here are not going to move. The plate will come down, come up, and then when the plate hits the bottom of those screws, that's when it tops out. So that is our stroke length coming down and up. So everything's nice and contained. Everything's self-powered. We're going to be using a press on the top of this plate here to press down with enough force to punch through whatever material we're using. And so that's it. It's kind of a quick rundown. Uh, we got some little bit more tolerances going on here that we're going to need to shoot for when we machine this. Uh, obviously these holes are going to need to be pretty tight for our accuracy and our press fits. These plates going on the inside here are not perfect. You know, in the world of machining, we try to make everything as perfect as possible, but we know that's never going to happen, so machinists came up with this beautiful idea called tolerance. And tolerance is basically what, how much can we make this not perfect? How much can we screw up and still have a working product? So what I've done is I've developed a 5 thou tolerance all the way around this. So that way we got a little bit of wiggle room uh, for our holes to line up. We have a little bit of wiggle room between our pocket and the insert. Because what's going to happen is that it's going to be held in by these threads and everything's going to line up when the pins go in. And then, so that's basically what we have taken care of. This inside pocket here has a little bit bigger tolerance about 10 thou tolerance on each side because this is all going to get lined up by the pins and everything's going to kind of shift around a little bit uh, as it's sitting and so you know if we have 5 thou, 5 thou then when everything comes down and in it's still not going to hit which is why we gave it the 10. So we'll talk more about tolerances later I mean you can come up with a whole series of videos about why you want to design things a certain way why you want to tolerance things a certain way, we'll get into that later. But for now, we're going to see you on the next video where I jump into the cam side of things and then we're actually going to show footage of cutting this out and why you need to make certain changes, why you might want to adjust things on the fly, 
and stuff to look out for. So if you guys are interested, consider giving that next video a try. Maybe leave a like or a comment if you feel so inclined and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one. And that's it for me. So I'm going to sign off and see you in the next video. Thanks.